In crystals, we can talk about a direction and we can talk about a family of directions. And the system's more straightforward if you have something that's cubical or close to it. In the case of a hexagonal crystal, we have what are called miller brevet coordinates. Now, it's actually a four coordinate system, which is redundant. Why are they doing that? Why are they making it more complicated? We could talk about essentially x, y, z, u prime, v prime, w prime. So why do we switch over to this u, v, t, w? The point is because of the families. They want the families to have the same sorts of digits if they are. <coughs> they want the members of the same family, basically crystallographic directions that are equivalent in the hexagonal crystal, to have the same coordinates just possibly scrambled around. So that's the point of it. And the secret is, where there's four coordinates, the interesting three are A1, A2, A3, and the fourth coordinate is essentially just Z sticking out, which they call W. So if you have a vector, say this one, which would have coordinates of one unit and root 3 over 2 units and 0 units in the z, 